It's the year 2019 and a lone walker is returning from the sandstone trail. He stops on Frodsham Point and looks down at the town first recorded in the Doomsday Book. He sees the lights of Morrison's and just over the railway track there's a dark deserted building with large doors. He blinks and then the space is completely deserted and flat. And he blinks again, and then he sees a multi-story car park. He blinks again, and he sees a building that's lit that seems to have people coming and going from it. Intrigued, he makes his way down into the town and hears people talking about what they've been doing there. He goes closer to the building and peers in. It's a hive of activity, warm. It seems to be a place for the community and business and learning. It's incredible. And as he listens, people seem to be saying, how could we possibly be managing if we didn't have the good shed? We believe that we are a very welcoming community, that we're a caring and sharing society. Good things about Frodgham were traditions and creativity. A community of anticipation, and innovation. The idea that there's a sense of connectivity, there's a strong community spirit. Strong community spirit, despite the fact that things like Carnival don't, doesn't exist anymore. And we have a lot of fitness facilities, you know, there's a wonderful thing next door with an AstroTurf and everything. Mm. No swimming. But there's no swimming pool. Frodium, I think, is a, is, is a strange town, isn't it? I'm sure there's many towns just like it, but it's almost two yeah. towns. Mm recognise that there's areas of exclusion not everybody shares equally. Certain areas just don't see this as a place of opportunity. Well, we've got an ageing population, people are always in a hurry, people work, time is a very very precious thing and you sort of get mired in the mundane and you lose sight of the sort of inner nucleus of good things. Trotsham's been a town of small businesses and I think we really want to keep that dimension going. Talking about things like bartering, we're talking mm. about people meeting and, and buying and selling things. But of course people did manage before. And if we go back to just five years before the walker stopped and looked down to the year 2014, he would have seen groups of people meeting to talk about the possible uses. He would have heard people talking about the culture of Frodsham. Invisible things like the atmosphere that there could be in such a building. He'd have heard others talking about practical issues, whilst others were more concerned with the decisions that had to be made. Others were concerned with strategy and vision, and others could be heard talking about Frodsham's regional innovation, and how did the good shed fit into the plan for the whole area in the future? And other questions were emerging at that time, emerging about values and beliefs about what should be and could be happening in the Frodsham Goodshed, about the shift between the as is to the as if. I, I feel somehow there should be opportunities for. Um, job seekers. They come in to be a part of the community. Cafes, or we talk about microbreweries as well. Or if it was to be a cafe, it should be like a cool retro cafe, like old fashioned style. Costas on steroids and you can start your business by borrowing, renting a table of this size. A little locker that uh, mm. uh, you could rent off. Uh, Constantly changing in some way or another. You know, it wouldn't be the same operator every day. It would be somebody new who'd be coming in to try um, ideas. It could be a bus station, We've got a railway station and a bus station for the people who are coming into Frodium to go up to the Sandstone Trail, to come up to Frodium Hill, to come everywhere. In an ideal world, it would be nice um, to have a bus which goes up the hill. Inexpensive coffee, warmth, chat. Available almost 24-7. Local produce storeholders have a local market. Could we use it to sort of link or signpost people to the library, the leisure centre, the art centre? What I mean, it's got to be, it's got, it's got to be very cleverly constructed so that it's flexible. So it's all, all sorts of different things that can be brought in. 
areas in the building that people could use to show crafts and actually do craft classes. It's a centre that encourages younger people to come in and talk about the ideas that they would like to try out. It'd be quite good as a cafe as well because if, oh, yeah, if you go to most train stations like Chester they have um, Costa Coffee Expresses, they have cafes but there if you get off the train there's nowhere to go really. We had a shop in there instead of having to run across to Morrison's if you wanted anything. I think you'd be in the dusty park because that's what we all use. What's the point of in the play area when everyone's just going to grow out of it after a while? Certainly high speed broadband it should be something that gives it a real identity. There would be some sort of digital signboard. Friendly and meet new friends. As some people said, the Good Shed is a gateway to communication in Frodsham. That's the place where you go to meet people in business or to do your work, a business hub, but also a learning lab for old, for young, and a community place. Not just a drafty old community hall, but a warm, vibrant place like a Costa Coffee on wheels. And all managed by a user-centred system, quite different than anything that had happened before. As people were talking, they had the goods, and some said, what about the bads? Well, for the goods, there were... The building could be a good gateway into Frodsham coming off the train business tables in one corner, you could have almost separated cubicles in another corner, a community space in a corner, a corner for barter and trade, perhaps, you know, people bring in um, muffins and swap them for jam or something like that, or some knitted goods, and then you could have a corner of um, stall holders. And for the bads, in other words, the threats to the dreams that people had for the Frods and Goods Shed. But we can have enough to create something it's already in production within the It's maybe because no one, can, no one is daring to do it. Um, car parking could come in, um, yeah, knock it down. I'm not sure what's worse, whether it's a derelict building or a multi-storey car park. Remember someone said, there is no beginning too small. And the question was asked, what has to happen today? the first concrete steps were taken.